Genetics. Genetics is a million times more important than people will ever understand when it comes to bodybuilding. In saying that, when it comes to anything in life, genetics is one of the most important aspects. A quick example is if you're five foot two and you want to be a professional basketball player, guess what? You're not going to be a professional basketball player. Sorry. You, you know, you got dealt a fucked hand and you're not going to be a basketball player. And it's the same with bodybuilding. Some guys are given incredible genetics as far as their structure, their capability of putting on muscle, their joints, uh, their muscle bellies, how full they are, where they attach, how long they are, how short they are, um, how small their waist is. This is all genetics given by God. These are things you can't necessarily change. If you have shitty genetics, there's not much you can do. You can become the best that you can become, but to become the number one bodybuilder in the world, it's probably not going to happen. And a lot of times people with shitty genetics will look at people with incredible genetics and say, oh yeah, he's taking steroids. Yeah, yeah, he's taking steroids. That's why he looks like that. You know, rather than understanding that genetics plays a huge role. I can be driving down the street in downtown LA and I can see a guy, I have to admit, it's usually a black guy is what I'm talking about. The reason I say that, he's digging in the garbage, looking for food, he's a bum. And when he stands up, he's got ripped abs, he's got pecs, he's got shoulders, and the guy is homeless. The last thing on his mind is working out. And he's got a body better than 95% of the people in the world. I know people have been working out for 12 years taking drugs that don't look as good as him. And he's homeless. Like seriously, he could do a photo shoot. Ripped abs, small little waist, little muscle bellies, like an incredible body. That's genetics. A lot of people will never understand genetics. It's very important. Just because somebody looks good, maybe they had great genetics. Anyone ever think about that? Let me give you a great example of genetics, okay? This is the best possible example. Some guys are born with a two inch dick and some guys are born with a 12 inch dick. Okay, that's genetics. If you have the two inch dick, hey, sorry, you're fucked, you got screwed. I don't know what to tell you, there's nothing you can do. You know, but you're not going to look at the guy with the 12-inch dick and be like, oh, that's a fake dick. Oh, you're probably injecting silicone in it. No, motherfucker, he's just fucking got genetically blessed and you got jacked. But you know what? Maybe you're smart. Maybe you got a high IQ. Maybe he's a dumb shit. You know, everybody has their pluses and minuses. So not everyone is gifted to have an incredible physique. So... People have to understand this aspect. I've known many people in the world that have been friends of mine that I know for a fact are not taking steroids, that have a physique that I can honestly say is as good, if not better, than mine. I've been taking steroids for 25 years. I am not so insecure and fucked up that I can't admit that somebody has a better body than me and does not take steroids. It's a fact. I've seen it. I know about it. And it exists. And anyone out there who sees someone better is always going to say, oh yeah, that's because of this. That's because No, motherfucker, it's because they work their ass off and because they have great genetics. And just because you ain't shit doesn't mean you have to take away from how great they are. And um, I'm getting a little off subject here, but Genetics is the most important aspect of bodybuilding. And when you see a guy on stage, it's all a visual. It's small joints, full muscle bellies. It's an illusion. Sometimes they come off the stage and you're like, wait a minute, that, is that the same guy I just saw on stage? Because they're tiny in person. Because it's genetics, it's the bodybuilding illusion. It's having full muscle bellies, small joints, so those muscles pop. Um, take Phil Heath, for instance. Phil Heath is the number one bodybuilder in the world right now. Do I believe he should be the number one bodybuilder in the world? Yes, I do. Phil Heath 
has an amazing physique. He has amazing body. Now, there's guys out there who could stand next to him and dwarf him, make him look like a little boy. But bodybuilding is not about being the biggest. It's about genetics, aesthetics. It's about symmetry. There's a lot to it. And, you know, I'm a large individual. I enjoy being a large individual. I'm happy with the way I look. When it comes to stepping on a bodybuilding stage, a lot of people are saying, hey, Rich, you should hop on stage with the Mr. Olympia guys. You could easily beat them. Well, they don't understand bodybuilding. And I'm the first to admit that I don't believe I have the capabilities of competing with these guys on stage. I know this. And I'm here on camera telling people this because I'm secure enough to know this. I'm secure enough to admit this. And I'm fine with that. I'm happy with the way I look. I'm happy with my life. So I'm happy with the way I live. I wish everybody could feel that way about themselves and be able to admit things, you know? And again, genetics is everything. And no matter how much steroids you take, you're never going to change your genetics. An example is if you have high calves, so your calves are high genetically, you got jacked in the calf, uh, in calves, basically in calves you got screwed. There's nothing that you can do to make your calves longer. The muscle insertion cannot be changed. Steroids can't change it. Growth hormone can't change it. Insulin can't change it. Synthol can't change it. You cannot change the muscle insertion and the muscle shape and how long the muscle is. If you have short calves, they're never going to be huge. They won't. It's impossible. That's genetics. You have to have long calves in order to have a 22, 23 inch calf. And that goes along with every body part. So genetics is so important in bodybuilding. And I can see guys in the gym that weigh 190 pounds and I could say, wow, that guy looks incredible. And you know what, the, you know what my buddy will say? He'll be like, what are you talking, what guy, what are you talking about? That guy's fucking tiny, dude. What are you talking about? He's a fucking little pussy. And they don't understand the sport. They don't understand the body. They don't understand anything about bodybuilding. They have no concept. All they care about is big, 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 big. You know, big. I'm 280. I'm 280 pounds. Take your shirt off. Yeah, you look like a fat motherfucker. You look like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no girl in the world is going to look at you and be like, oh, my God, that guy's got the most amazing body. It's like a statue. It's just the way it's put to you. No, you look like shit, you know? If you got a waist that's 40 inches, you're not a bodybuilder. You're not. I don't care what anyone says. In my book, you're not a bodybuilder. And uh, to me, genetics is everything. And keeping, keeping your genetics the way they're supposed to be, not ruining them with drugs. There are certain drugs you take that will thicken the waist, you know, that will give you the steroid gut. My opinion is going that route is ruining your physique, ruining it. So uh, I think I made my point clear how important genetics are. And for the record, I wasn't dealt the best genetics in the world. Um, I've made do the best I possibly can with the genetics I was given. And I was aware of the things I needed to work on. You know, 20 years ago, I realized that my weak body parts needed to be brought up. And I would train my weak body parts two or three times a week. And my strong body parts, I would train once a week. And I had to do this for 20 years in order to bring my weak body parts up. My weak body parts were my arms and chest. Those were my weak. I had skinny ass arms and I had big ass legs and a big ass back. And I fucking hated the way I looked. I put on a t-shirt. The sleeves were baggy. The back was skin tight. I hated it. And, uh, you know, it took me 20 years to overcome that. 